So as I was saying, sorry, I say so many things um, because the reason is that Allah has given me so many knowledge. So I mix things up so for you to understand different topics at one time. So you get all these in in one one ticket. So as I was saying, that those things that you you find, uh, uh, you know that a kugula and a kugula the kugula ibad is also important uh, and a kugula is first, or they go together. So you pray, you look after your parents, your mother, your father, you look after the children, you work, you pray. And and then other aspects of uh, um, uh, apart from praying, which I will be telling you inshallah about zakat and other things and how I do it, and also uh, reading namaz and namaz. There are three things which are mentioned in Surah Baqarah together. Zakimus salat wa atu zakat wa marakin. So he did the namaz, that's first, the zakat is first, and uh, uh, bow down to with those who bow down. Ruku with those who do ruku, which is people, a group of people in a jamaat, in a mosque. That is, all three are together. Now, some people, uh, you know, uh, can read it at home, but that's their own opinion. I always do jamaat at home, at work, anywhere. If there's no one, I do jamaat by myself. I do the zan and the qamat myself. And inshallah, I remember the hadith that the Prophet Sallallahu said that Allah is pleased with one who's on the mountain, a shepherd, who if there's no one there, and he's with his herd, and he does the azan, he does the akamat, and read the namaz, and Allah is pleased with him, subhanAllah. So we don't have that uh, in certain issues, but when I'm alone, I do the azan, I do the akamat, and do the jamaat, inshallah. And that's my way, I've always done that. When I'm at home, I do the jamaat with my children, and with my wife, Allah bless her soul. She was uh, very kind and humble. Um, a humble person, and uh, so, that is a different issue. I was actually um, diverting away from my the topic, but the topic is is death. So as soon as a person dies, he will know whether he's a good person or a bad person. So the death is very important, and you should remember it when you read Surah Fatiha in the namaz or by yourself. The first ayat is Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is the most merciful, merciful and most kind. You may must remember. All of you Muslims, whether you're Brailvi, Diobandi, al Hadith, Shia, uh, or other sects, that Allah is most merciful and you should ask Allah's forgiveness and do Tawbah and start becoming a good Muslim from today. Yes, and it's through His blessings, His grace, that we will go to Jannah. We will never go to Jannah just by Amal, just keeping a beard with a big jubba. And, you know, keeping shalwar from above the ankles and, you know, acting as some sort of, a, 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 you know, people that he's the only clean man or the pious man. No, it's, it's, it's mercy. And there are many of these. One of these is that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and one of the person during, uh, it is a hadith, whether the link is weak is to be to be uh, debated, but uh, the, the, the essence is very good. Where there's a man in during when Israel's time, he was very pious and he's, he's like uh, uh, pious, he used to read the namaz, he used to fast, he's, he used to obey all the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was really, you know, proud that he will go to uh, Jannah. Uh, so, uh, you know, by his, by his, by his actions, by his, just by his actions. So on the day of judgment, Allah says, okay, bring him here. And he was so proud. Then Allah says, okay, take his eyes and put his own on a scale. So obviously he could not substitute with that, subhanAllah. So it is said that it's through mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will go to Jannah. It's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given us a prophet. It's the mercy of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that he has, is kind to us and he will do shafat on the day of judgment. So Allah has given all these, these qualities and has given us a prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam among ourselves. And very, you know, kind and humble and the most complete person that we'll ever find. We, I don't have time in all my life that I've been studying Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from his birth to, till now and, you know, till the hereafter. So when you read the Quran, it's all about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The true love comes from the Quran. Whatever love you have is fake. 
that comes only once a year and you just pretend and you just wear the green hat or green uh, patka or whatever that's fake that's not real uh, the real is inside because remember one of the authentic of these uh, subhanallah is very good you know the, the words of wisdom is the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that allah looks at you does not look at your face and your mal money does not look at your face and your money but he looks at your heart and your actions subhanallah but what we do is we look at the face uh, nurani chera you know big kind of jobba and you know he's got big sofas big cars and you know he's a you know big gaddi nishin or some sort of a, you know and the others are, are the same mind you is not the brailwis is the other the bandis and ahli hadith and salafis they are also arrogant when you see them they are arrogant you know you, you don't have time for them they always sit separate they have separate issues and did the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did that no he used to be on the floor subhanallah and there's one authentic hadith it's very rikatange is very sad hadith that uh, one day in sahih bukhari uh, sahih muslim hazrat umar farooq razi allah ta'ala anhu walked in and he was sleeping on the floor with a with a you know pillow which was made up of grass uh, and you know he was sleeping on the palm tree uh, leaves and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sleeping and umar bin khattab walked in and he saw a soreness on his arms and he, he was sad and he said oh ya rasulullah and the the kings of persia they got so much are uh, you ask allah allah will give you more and you know what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he said ibn khattab ibn khattab he didn't say umar farooq he say ibn khattab oh umar ke bete oh son of umar oh, oh son of uh, khattab that we uh, you want us to be like them we have given up the dunya for the hereafter allah has given us everything for in the hereafter so you find these maulvis with like that they never they claim they like the prophet they not they following their desires and that's what they uh, claim and uh, in in a sense that you uh, we we claim that we love the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but we don't really actually uh, see it in actions and the public you know is not the grass eating public that used to be in the past when you know in the 18th centuries in 19th century in pakistan or meerpur where there's no light no darkness and people can fool around but now mashallah you you guys and the public is educated it has seen the light so they can judge themselves so one of the these that i was saying is that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that allah looks at does not look at your faces or your mal does not look at your face or your money that you spend he looks at your heart and your actions but now we look at the faces no rani chera this that and the money he's got but allah looks at the heart your intentions and your actions so that's that's one thing the second thing i was saying that it is possible that when uh, when you die then you know whether you're a good person or or a bad person so when you die and that is also something that is uh, as has touched me personally uh, a lot uh, my father died in 1998 then uh, uh, then my brother oh, sorry one minute i need to answer this hello sir yes i'm mr rush Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay then. Uh what's your name? Yes, I'm there inshallah. Yeah. I advise you that. Okay. Thank you. I'm here just uh, come in. Okay. Then. Thank you very much. So uh this is just uh, you know it's not formal recording it's just I uh, you know I I say things what uh, you know I just speak like that I don't have formal inshallah when people like it then I'll come formal and give you evidence and inshallah I'll, I'll be um, uh, doing that so the death has touched me personally my father died in 1998 uh, suddenly of heart attack uh, he was coming here but he died in Pakistan then my brother who was really close to my dad he died 6 uh, months later he was 40 years of age my father was uh, 72 when he died uh i think 72 yes 72 or 
uh, or maybe uh, uh, that is the close age. And then my brother died uh, within six months. He was 40 years old. And then my nephew, my brother's older son, uh, who died in 2012, uh, he was um, 29 or 30 years of age at that time. And then recently, my wife, uh, uh, she died uh, in 2017, October. Uh, may Allah bless her soul. Uh, she was very nice and like really can't take, uh, you know, can't get over her death. But bless Allah's will. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I'm very sorry about that. It's just that uh, uh, she died suddenly. Uh, and she was uh, 43 years of age. Uh, anyway, so it, it's not that. It's sometimes I used to uh, tell her that uh, you know i would die and bury me here and i never thought that she would die but that's allah's will uh, i don't complain about allah's will or taqdeer it's just that i'm sad and uh, death ha has really uh, touched me personally uh, as much uh, as anyone else so death in a sense is important and uh, before my wife's death i used to always say that it's not that now that I'm saying, I've always used to say that. Whenever there was a, a, a khatam that I used to do, I only do khatam uh, only to uh, gather people and to preach them in, in Pakistan and Mirpur district. That's all I do. Even here when I have a gathering because I just can bring the food and people come in and eat and then I give them some sort of a, a, a advice. Uh, uh, those who remember, I never call Malvis. I, I speech uh, I give a speak a speech myself. Uh, I think one of the um, uh, my children was saying I said speak speak. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. My language uh, sometimes I I say things very fast uh, and not really uh, say words clearly. And so the, the speech um, uh, I, I I give myself and give and dawa to them. That's all I do. And before that as well. Uh, so um, I used to tell her about my own death, but obviously she was young. She was 43 years, 43 years of age. And uh, may Allah um, bless her soul. She was uh, very good. And I tell her about her death that uh, even on the day, you know, two to three days before, I never knew she would die because she's anemic and she was not ill. And, and believe me, Allah knows best that I never thought she would die. Anyway, the, di the day she died, she died on Friday evening and we all were there her family and uh, her brothers and sisters and mom and dad were there and mashallah uh, she was you know well uh, aware of it even the last couple of seconds she said that i can't breathe and as she was um, you know she woke up and i thought you know she would wake up and then as she uh, the soul I, I looked at it and the soul was going and i said la ilaha illallah wa da'u la sharika la ula hurmulku wa alhamdulillah kulli shayin kadir a beautiful ayat that people read after Fajr Mas and also during Hajj time. Uh, so uh, she, she, you know, she died on Friday night, and the Saturday we did the janaza. It was a weekend. I tried my best. Uh, Allah helped me, and she was very, you know, very kind and very, you know, a nek. Uh, she was khatun. She was a very nice, uh, nice, you know, um, person that I, I can't get over her death. But uh, then. Uh, we did the janaz on Sunday, uh, Saturday, and then Sunday we took her to Pakistan, and the, and then she was buried there on Monday. 
uh, that's how it is that if you are good uh, uh, you know and allah will will show the people that a good person has died in such a way it, it is um, you know everybody's desire to die that way that the family is close and then everybody's reading and their family uh, my wife's family were reading myself i was reading all the time during the illness i used to read and uh, uh, you know uh, surah mulk and and surah uh, surah rahman and other uh, you know ayats i had the quran and also if i was difficult sometimes i was sad so i used to um, put the surah mulk uh, recited by uh, abu bakr shatri and surah rahman as well and and surah waqiya uh, so these are three surahs are very uh, you know I, I love them a lot and i used to uh, while she was ill so inshallah she in that sense uh, you, you can say that she was a she was a good person because whoever is uh, good to the husband and she was very she used to read quran all the time she was very kind and that's her ending showed and also another she's lucky that I always uh, pray for her and inshallah one how the this is that on the day of judgment the people will come the, the persons who have died and people who pray behind uh, you know after they have died their relatives or their husbands or their fathers or mothers or for the, the children they pray for them and they will be brought in the day of judgment and they'll see you know mountain um, a huge amount of uh, nekis or good deeds and they will know that this is not us and they will uh, uh, ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what's this and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to them this is the good deeds or the people who gave uh, you know uh, prayed for you and the good deeds they did good deeds that uh, this is the this is the amount that people uh, prayed for you when you died and this is the good deeds that they did on your behalf so there are mountain of good deeds so mashallah in a sense my wife is lucky that i pray for her all the time there's not a single day that i not pray for her my children pray for her and read quran and pray for her and read namaz so she is lucky in a sense so a death in a sense is this how once a person is is dead or the death has touched him and the soul is taken out of his body then the qiyamah starts this is this is his qiyamah so whoever is listening they should understand that as soon as they die or someone dies the account the akhirat starts the akhirat as soon as you die and then as soon as the soul is taken out you'll know it or before your death you'll know it or people who are uh, and then if you pray for them and then he continues to pray inshallah allah uh, you know uh, we feel and we believe that allah is most merciful and he will give them and if you do good deeds on their behalf and if you are a child is similarly my father is also lucky you know that i pray for him i do good deeds on his behalf my grandfather you know died in 1976 until this day i pray for him i on his day or on his, and he died on ramzan 21st in 1976 17 September I remember the date is you know more than 40 years ago so we still remember him and so he'll be getting mountain of gold and all my grandmother and my you know great grand parents and who probably were not you know muslims uh, not in a, in a practicing muslims as on those times there was a dogra raj so they were muslims but allah will judge them according to their knowledge is is not that allah will say well why didn't you read say bukhari say muslim it is that according to the knowledge that they had and the sincerity they had they read la ilaha illa muhammad rasulullah the muslims so at that time whatever is available they did so allah will judge according to the condition the people were so all of them uh, inshallah will be in jannah and i pray for everyone from my father's family from my mother's family so i pray for everyone so when you die then you know then the second part comes when you know, your your body is placed in the grave remember when the soul is taken the angels take it to the heavens and you're on the ground and you will say nasir sahab ki body aage laaye you know you bring the nasir sahab's body you won't say nasir sahab ko aage le aao you will say oh, oh, oh everyone knows and uh, everyone hears it ke body pakistan khadni hai ya itthe rakhni hai whether you going to take the body to pakistan or you going to bury him here 
यू डोंट से नासर साहब की पाकिस्तान करना है कड़ी फ्लाइट पर जाना है बट आई एम इफ आई एम लाइव नासा पाकिस्तान के एंड यू लास्ट माई चिल्ड्रन बट आई एम वन आई एम डेट दैट्स इट योर बॉडी इज हियर एंड लुक एट द एंजल्स दे श्राउड यू दे टेक द परफ्यूम सो वन थिंग इज सर्टन दैट द सोल इज एन एंटिटी इज इट yeah that's for you for knowledgeable people this is not for ordinary people this is for knowledgeable people so if this the soul is shrouded and perfumed like which you going to shroud my body then the soul itself is an entity as well isn't it that we can't see that's the beauty of it so the remember when the angels go up in heavens they ask the angels ask the people the angels who are bringing the soul up who is this person and they say this is nasser this is nasser or mangur shid's uh, son or you know we used to call him uh, doctor as well or whatever name we gave him and is him the good names so obviously nasser is going up and the body is down yes Similarly, Allah says in the Quran, Surah Al-Anam, Surah Zumar, that Allah takes the soul when you're sleeping. But the soul when you're sleeping is connected to the body. So in your sleep, if you remember, that one time in the period of night when you're sleeping, there's a time, certain time, that you don't know what happened. Even if it's an accident or a bang, bang, you wouldn't know. Unless there's a big bang and you obviously... get up in the morning but there's a time in your sleep that you don't don't, don't remember what you know what happened so you sleep uh, you slept at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock you woke up at 6 o'clock 8 o'clock those times you don't know so that allah says the soul is taken when you are sleeping and then we bring it back and those people who have uh, you know the decree has been done that they will die so the soul is kept behind as you can see many people have died in sleep my own nephew uh, Uh, may Allah bless so he died in sleep so this happens when people die in sleep and the causes are cardiac arrest or heart attack or different causes because the science cannot cannot find a single reason for death they have to give few reasons the kidney failure the liver failure or compound compound kind of diseases that they have so the soul cannot be cannot be detected by scientific instruments so this is purely a uh, unseen thing similarly angels cannot be detected by uh, um, instruments and same way the jinns cannot be detected so these are unseen things inshallah i'll come to this topic on another time so at that moment so you will say nasa saab ki body ko aage le so i say to them when i die now I'm nothing all this you know that this ambitions you have all these Uh, you know you got to do this you got to do that and then suddenly you're dead and that's it party is finished so the you know people say it's just that you know you need to quickly take him to bury him to the ground he's no more and then people just fight over the uh, leftovers you know um, uh, inheritance money clothes and if they die then they get married the wives get married to other people or similarly uh, you know other uh, other issues happen or or wives if they die then the husbands get married to other people so that's that's the life that how you need to 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 do live is nothing wrong with that but what need to you need to understand is that your death is real and it will come any time and this allah shows you every day and every moment of of the day so when you uh, the the soul is going up and then you uh, shroud me you have a bath and then you do a janaza when the janaza is done and uh, it is said in um, uh, authentic hadith that the soul comes back and sees the people and is around and if he is a good person he says take me to my destination quickly because he's seen it why is he saying that because he's seen it yes he's seen it that the angels come in and he's seen it by himself and he comes down and he says to you take me to my place which is very good and if it's a foul soul or a bad soul he will say where are you taking me because he's seen it so he said delay it delay it 
So what happens is that once you uh, put someone or myself in the grave, then whether I'm buried here or, or in uh, Pakistan, inshallah, I would like to be buried in Pakistan. I will come to that whether you are uh, able to take the body in Pakistan or not on a different day. Uh, anyway, so the body is placed in the grave and then you, uh, uh, you know, do the mitti on it, the, the sand on it. And, you know, uh, in England, it's like, like it's like a kind of a, you know, different environment, uh, but uh, sand is sand. Uh, and Pakistan is different, uh, different sand. So then you uh, uh, bury them, and then you pray for them. And it is said in the 